Hey, what's up? This is Sifu Cuddle, and thanks so much for watching my Nunchuck playlist. Hopefully you've learned something new, and even in the techniques that you may have already known, maybe you got some details that helped out with how you perform that technique now. So, I also wanted to take some time. I've used a lot of different nunchucks in my videos, and even some that you haven't seen yet, so I wanted to take some time and actually show you guys some of the chucks that I have. Now, uh, we'll start with Actually, these guys. First, the big boys. I call these the Michelangelos because they're nunchucks, like Michelangelo the Ninja Turtle, but uh, also because I put an orange string in here. So, um, these ones are pretty old. We found these in the studio here, and this means that it could have been from anywhere you know, from. I found them when I first moved in uh, to San Francisco and I started working at this school. At, in 2008 so at least 10 years and I'm putting my guess in to probably even a lot longer than that so probably like 20 30 years old now the unique thing also about these nunchucks are they are a little bit longer than the chucks that I usually use so these were fun they didn't have some string in them so I took some time went online learned how to restring the nunchucks and there's a lot of cool tutorials on that and the cool thing is it's held by tension so the way that they actually stay together is no knots on the nunchucks so this is the traditional oct octagonal style and uh, you know string and stick but it's really fun to work with these guys because even though they're kind of long they are that makes it easier to pass because once you once you get there you don't have to like really go flexible on these ones and they're also fun to hit things with. So I really enjoy these Michelangelo's. Uh, next up I have these black ones. Now the difference between these and the Michelangelo's obviously are string and chain. And this is a very basic and common style that you'll find. Uh, these ones are black lacquered, painted, but the chain in between is good distance right over the top of the palm of my hand. So this is really nice to work with for me. Another thing is the swivels on there are really nice. It's got a ball bearing swivel, so these things will spin freely, making it a lot easier, especially during the spinning techniques. Sometimes, like when you see the three section staff that I use or the two section staff that I use, the shackle and chain style, sometimes that'll bind up, but that rarely happens with the ball bearing style. Now, um, with that, I have the blue pair that you see a lot of in the videos. And this is a newer set. The black pair is actually something that we've had in the studio for a long time too. So these ones could be pretty old. There's a lot of rust on the top, but they still swivel very, very nicely. But the blue ones, these are my newest ones. Uh, they came in octagonal too, but I wanted to have something uh, different that would show for the video. And I just wanted to uh, round off the sides. So when I got these ones, I did a little bit of handiwork and sanded them down so the edges are a little bit more rounded, although they do have a square feel to them, which is actually really nice for the grip. And then since I took down a lot of the finish work that was on the wood, I decided to use some stain and I've got this blue stain that I've been really in love with lately so I used my blue stain on this and it's neat because some of the wood grain still shows through and so you get some cool purples and browns and yellows that come out with this. But this again has the swivel, the bar ball bearing swivel on the nunchuck and the chain is about the same length as the black ones just over the palm of my hand which is really nice for when we do the grip changes. Now, the practice chucks that I have, and I suggest that everybody has in their uh, collection, is just a simple foam nunchuck with string. And these ones are awesome. I actually got these from our martial arts supplier, and they're super cheap. So you can get these for five bucks or less. And if you're doing like, if you're gonna buy nunchucks anyways, just throw this in into the cart. You'll, you'll be thankful that you did. Okay, this also is really fun because I've used these to spar with. And in sparring, I've learned a lot about what is important in technique, 
um, what is really tough to block, what I thought could block didn't work very well, what I thought would be a good attack didn't work out very well. So sparring becomes very important as a way to understand what you're actually doing with the weapon and also understanding uh, when to apply that extra power, that extra snap, that, that extra energy. So uh, definitely grab a foam set of nunchucks to spar with. Now, I also suggest, and my personal approach to it is, I will spar with the nunchucks, but then I'll switch it out and spar against someone with nunchucks. Because just as much as there's things that I'm trying to learn in sparring, I also need to know where the opponent's gonna try to attack. So I need to understand their strategy just as much as I need to understand the strategy of this weapon. And I try not to limit it to uh, nunchuck versus nunchuck. And that usually happens when you watch, uh, when you look at martial arts movies or magazines or books, they usually try to match up the same weapon versus the same weapon, which just gets messy. Or a more unrealistic approach where you have somebody with a really long bow staff and then they try to go nunchucks up against it and they're doing these binding techniques and wrapping techniques. And if somebody's got the extra reach and distance with a long staff, the nunchucks really aren't gonna make a difference. Though, if you need to know that last ditch effort, it's a good exercise but I always prefer to be on the top end and you know, if I'm gonna go into a fight with a nunchuck, they better have a knife or nothing, you know, or a short stick and then I'll feel a little bit more comfortable. Moving on from there, we have the metal nunchucks. These ones are pretty cool. These ones are the Kung Fu style of nunchuck and this brings uh, an interesting thing to my mind and that's when you watch like Bruce Lee movies, as I did as a teenager and got inspired and bought my own nunchucks, if you look at the length of the chain on his nunchucks, it was really long. And that's something that, you know, I've kind of uh, played around with. I had some foam nunchucks with a really long string on them before. And it really makes a difference in how you swing it and in your different techniques. Now, with that said, this chain is actually a lot longer than my palm. So you can see it's hanging down a lot more. Whereas the other ones, I was almost nunchuck to nunchuck. And that dynamic makes it a lot different when I'm doing my spinning around. Another thing is... Uh, this style of swivel, it does have a swivel, but it does not feel like a ball bearing. So the chain is bigger, the type of connection on the top is different, but uh, this, this style of nunchuck, you will see a lot more in the wushu circles, where other styles of nunchucks you'll see kind of across all martial arts, but predominantly like in Japanese martial arts, Korean martial arts, but uh, the longer the longer chain, the different type of swivel on the top, and that metallic look is becoming very, very popular with the Chinese martial arts now. Okay, so the last pair of nunchucks I have are pretty special to me, and that's these guys, these little guys. Now, I know when you look at it right away, oh man, those are, you know, silly, tiny ones, but they're actually extendable nunchucks, so I really love these ones. These were special to me because uh, they were a gift for my 16th birthday, so I've had them for quite a few years. And um, these ones are really nice. The, the thing is, you know, they are the smaller set. You can actually get two different uh, sizes when it comes to the extendable nunchucks. And these are actually the shorter ones, but I prefer, or the smaller ones, but I prefer these because the length of the nunchuck is exactly the same as my regular nunchucks that I use. And to me, that was more important than the thickness of the nunchuck, even though the grip is a little bit smaller than the ones I typically use. But I love these ones. Once you get them extended out, you know, they travel really well. And the reason I didn't use them for the videos is they blend in on the uniform quite a bit, but also the way that they taper down, it doesn't really show very well on video. But these are my favorite pair. These ones I, I keep close to my heart because of all those good times, all those memories working, uh, you know, practicing my nunchucks, watching Bruce Lee movies, and these were always like the bad boys that I had. When I was younger, I had a ton of nunchucks. I had uh, a pair of rattan nunchucks, which I also suggest, if you're really getting serious about chucking, I suggest using those, as well as like, they, those actually replaced my foam nunchucks for a while because they were really lightweight and easy to control. So even though when you get hit, it hurts, it's not as bad as the heavier nunchucks that you can get with the hardwood. I also had a pair of nunchucks uh, similar 
to these ones, except for on the bottom, they were studded, which just looked super tough, but were just dumb because unless all you're gonna do is just kind of swing at somebody with these, with the studded nunchucks, they're really painful. Anytime you catch in the return position, it's the, the studs are digging into your ribs and the underside of your arm. Anytime you do a pass, if you hit your palm just slightly off, those studs are digging in there. So they were more for show than for actual use. I also had a pair of uh, tactical police chucks that were similar to like the police uh, tonfa or baton style that you see with the grooves in it and it was really nothing more than just this style, maybe a little bit lighter. And then I had a pair of speed chucks which um, they were very light and I broke them very fast. But yeah, I, you know, here's my current nunchuck collection and uh, they're a lot of fun. I love the weapon and I love exploring all the different possibilities that I can do with that weapon. So not only will I sit there and just spin them around for the novelty of doing that, but like I said, you know, I like to spar with them, but also I like to take them out and hit things with them. And as long as you're gonna do it in a safe environment and things that you can hit, that you can strike and you're not gonna break, go for it. Whether it be a stand-up punching bag, I've seen people do it on a wooden dummy. I don't like that idea just because um, I've built wooden dummies and it just, it kind of hurts when you see that. <laughs> but if you have one and it's all yours, go for it. I'm not gonna judge. And then um, I've even done it against, because I grew up in the mountains, I used to use nunchucks to strike off uh, the dead branches off of dead trees and that was fun because you're working on accuracy but you also have a tangible uh, way of knowing how hard you're striking and it gives you a better respect for the weapon so hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys enjoyed the playlist I'm gonna be adding to it from time to time so definitely check in on it but again if you have any questions drop a comment down below. I'll answer it as best as possible. You guys can find me on other forums too. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, and of course, Patreon. Uh, you hear me talk about that all the time. Uh, if you wanna drop by and check that out, that would be super cool. So, if you haven't already, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe. Till next time, this is Sifu Cuddle. Bam, fist with a foe out.